We have used just simple mode of playing with devastating impact in the prisons. Hardcore criminals, you will see, we'll get them to play a game. In ten minutes they are like little children screaming and jumping and running and what not. <laughs> they forgot all their criminal nature. <laughs> we are also bringing in volleyball courts for men and throw ball courts for ladies in every village and inter-village tournaments are being organized. Herbal gardens have been raised in many villages now so that people can use herbal remedies for their day-to-day -day ailments. Allopathic system of medicine is simply unsustainable for Indian population. If you have to buy one tablet, it is going through a gen generic manufacturer, then a regular branded manufacturer, then a dealer, then another sub-dealer, then they come here, the local medical store. By the time it comes through all these people, it's too expensive. If you get something as simple as a common cold, it would cost thirty, forty rupees to go to the doctor. The, you know, the lowest village doctor charges three rupees or five rupees for prescription or whatever. It'll cost thirty, forty rupees, which is forty percent of your day's income which you are not willing to spend. It is simply unsustainable. I am not talking about cancer or AIDS or something like this. In India if you get cancer it's better you die. Instead of selling your property and extending your life by another two years, it's better to die, it's more sensible to die. Isn't it so? Only the richer class of the society can afford treatment for such things. The rural people, if you get cancer, it's simply wiser to die. There is no point extending your life by one year or two years. By the time you're done with this treatment, everything that you have is sold. I'm just talking about simple things. Even today, people are dying of gastroenteritis. Many women are dying of urinary infections. The way they are made, the culturally and emotionally, the way they are made, they would rather die than be examined by a male doctor. Without going for examination, without going for treatment, so many people are getting into so much complications, many deaths also happen because of this. Hundreds of children every year in Tamil Nadu are losing their vision for as simple a problem as conjunctivitis. Two drops of antibiotic, would change the situation. But those two drops don't fall into their eyes on time, they scratch their eyes out. These things could be avoided, isn't it? Maybe this cancer, these AIDS, these things, we cannot handle it. But these things can definitely be handled. Now, initially we want the trucks to go, the second phase we want to set up in every village a two-acre plot with a yoga shala, with a gymnasium, with a library, in bigger villages a computer center, a throw ball court for ladies, a volleyball court for men and a herbal garden. This is a unit that has been planned which people can sponsor. We are, you know, asking people outside the country and within the country to sponsor units like this so that they will be managed by a dedicated person. For every three, four villages if we have a center like this, where people can come, do their little bit of yoga, gymnasium. What I have seen is, when I worked with some of the slum dwellers way back, I just started a gymnasium. Almost eighty percent of the population was drinking in the evenings. The moment I started a gymnasium and got all the youth into it, over seventy percent of them gave up drinking. Now they are all mo looking at their muscle, you know. Simple things which are missing, a gymnasium in a village, such a thing has not happened, isn't it? There used to be a time when there used to be old garadis in the villages, but no more. Have you seen a gymnasium in any village? I don't see. It's all gone out. There used to be old games, you know, horse cart racing, bullock cart racing, everything has died. No spirit. The government has many, many schemes. 
I met the rural rejuvenation, I mean rural development minister in the center, the deputy prime minister and when we looked at what we could do, they are giving me out all kinds of wonderful schemes that the government has. Well thought out schemes, not just superficial stuff. Really people have applied themselves and made all these schemes, budget is allocated for it. Previous year, fourteen thousand crores was allotted for rural development and more than sixty percent of it went unused. This year they have allotted forty thousand crores and I'm sure seventy percent or eighty percent will go unused. So much money for the village and it goes unused as if there is nothing to be done. There is so much to be done but it is going unused because people have lost their spirit. They feel anyway nothing happens. This is set into their minds. So for every thousand population we are setting up five youth volunteers who will help the village in making use of the schemes that the government has. The government has money. You just have to provide ten percent seed money. Ninety percent is given by the government and the work happens. But people have no spirit to do this. Now these five volunteers, we want to take care of them. We want to take care of their life, their food, their clothing. Simple basic necessities if we take care, there are many youth who are willing to do. In India, people are claiming unemployment, I can't believe it. There is so much to be done in this country, how can anybody be unemployed? You're looking for some fancy job, that's why you're unemployed, isn't it? There is too much to be done in the nation, isn't it? When you say it is a developing country, that means there is a lot to be done. How can anybody be unemployed? So, this all involves enormous amount of funds, people, the volunteers are doing a fantastic job. This is just four months old now the project since we launched it. It is going very well. We have three trucks running now and we have twenty-seven in the making. So we'll have about thirty trucks running in the next few months. By the end of next year we are thinking of one hundred trucks. Now each truck costs us about 1.25 lakhs per month, the medicine, the doctor, the driver and the whole works. That means if hundred trucks are running, it's 1.25 crores per month, just expenses. We are… Uh, we have appealed to the pharmaceutical companies and others to subsidize the medicine because medicine is being given free or give it free. They are coming forth, no big thing has happened but all of them are looking at it, some of the major companies are considering it. We have appealed to the automobile companies to give us free trucks so that it could be employed. People are looking at it but still nothing has really happened, we are still buying the vehicles. This is not any one organization's project. This is everybody's project. Unless they take it up, it won't happen. See, in the next ten to twelve years, we need about maybe one to one point five billion dollars to put this in place. It may seem like big money, but it is not. In terms of the resources that we have, in terms of the money that is being wasted on so many things, it is nothing. For sixty million people, one point five billion dollars making a difference in their life is nothing. We are spending it on arms, we are spending it on alcohol, we are spending it on cigarettes, we are spending it on so many things which are life negative. It is just these things have not happened not because we lack resources, these things have not happened because we never cared enough. We always thought somebody else's suffering is somebody else's suffering. It's possible to do it, we have the means to do it. The necessary support happens, it should happen, we must see a big difference in the next ten years. For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.